Ibn Khaldun Schools, English World Class 4, Grade 4, Unit 12, Lesson 5. Our lesson today is about listening. The objectives for today. By the end of this lesson, we are going to talk about places to explore and name items for traveling. Listen to a discussion about a trip. To the desert. And finally, practice saying, reading, and spelling words with soft C. Open your pupil's book on page 122, exercise number one. Exercise number one Listen and circle. Robert and Uncle Henry are planning a trip. Where are they going to explore? Here we have four places. After listening or during listening, try to circle the right place. Concentrate well while listening. Pupils book, Unit 12, page 122. Activities 1 and 3. Listen and circle. Is it going to be very hot, Uncle Henry? Oh, yes. Very, very hot. So there are lots of things we must take. Really? Well, the sun is very strong, so you'll need a hat and a good pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes. And water, too, I suppose. Oh, yes. Lots of that. We must take plenty of water. How about a tent? Oh, I never take a tent into the desert. I like to sleep under the stars. Really? Yes. And you'll need a warm jumper, too. Why? It's going to be really hot, isn't it? Well, it gets very cold in the desert at night. Really? Wait and see. Will I need a warm jacket, then? No. You won't need one of those. A jumper's fine and it's not going to rain. I won't take my umbrella, then. <laughs> huh? Did you get the answer? Which place are they going to explore? Is it the rainforest, the Arctic, the desert, or under the sea? The right answer is letter C, the desert. Got it? Okay. Let's move to exercise number two. Talk about the items below. Can you name them? Huh. Look at these items. Huh. What's the first one? Very good. This is a tent. And this is? Huh? A bottle of water. Huh? What is it? This, a jumper. And what is it? Excellent. An umbrella. Huh. What is it? Huh. Underwater glasses. Okay. What is it? Sunglasses. Huh. Listen and take. Pupils book, Unit 12. Page 122. Activities 1 and 3. Listen and circle. Is it going to be very hot, Uncle Henry? Oh, yes. Very, very hot. So there are lots of things we must take. Really? 
Well, the sun is very strong, so you'll need a hat and a good pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes. And water too, I suppose. Oh yes, lots of that. We must take plenty of water. How about a tent? Oh, I never take a tent into the desert. I like to sleep under the stars. Really? Yes, and you'll need a warm jumper too. Why? It's going to be really hot, isn't it? Well, it gets very cold in the desert at night. Really? Wait and see. Will I need a warm jacket then? No, you won't need one of those. A jumper's fine, and it's not going to rain. I won't take my umbrella then. <laughs> okay. After listening, did you take the things that they need to go to the desert? Huh? Check your answers. Yes. Take water, jumper, hat, and sun glasses. Yes. These are the things they need while going to the desert. You want to listen again? Listen again to be sure. Pupils' book, Unit Twelve, Page One Hundred and Twenty Two, Activities One and Three. Listen and circle. Okay, we are going to circle, trying to answer this question. What things will Henry and Robert take with them? What things will Henry and Robert take with them? Is it going to be very hot, Uncle Henry? Oh yes. Very, very hot. So there are lots of things we must take. Really? Well, the sun is very strong, so you'll need a hat and a good pair of sunglasses to protect your eyes. And water too, I suppose. Oh yes, lots of that. We must take plenty of water. How about a tent? Oh, I never take a tent into the desert. I like to sleep under the stars. Really? Yes, and you'll need a warm jumper too. Why? It's going to be really hot, isn't it? Well, it gets very cold in the desert at night. Really? Wait and see. Will I need a warm jacket then? No, you won't need one of those. A jumper's fine, and it's not going to rain. I won't take my umbrella then. <laughs> Exercise number four. Talk about Robert and Henry's trip. What are they going to do and see? What are they going to do and see? Have they forgotten anything? Have they forgotten anything? Use your imagination to answer the questions. Huh? I need some of your ideas. Okay, in the desert, what are they going to see? Try to imagine. Yes, they may see. Huh? Camels. What else? In the desert, they may find an oasis. Of course, there are a lot of sand dunes. Do they need anything else besides water, jumper, and uh, umbrella? Okay, next, phonics. It's the phonics time. Letter C. They are looking for a lost city. Pupils' book, Unit Twelve. Page 122. Phonics. Look and listen. S. They are looking for a lost city. S. They are looking for a lost city. What nice mice! 
racing in circles. What a nice city for a bicycle race. Okay. Did you notice that letter C we pronounce it as sah sound when it is followed by E, I and Y? So, we usually pronounce sah as kah sound, but when it is followed by I, E, Y, we pronounce it as sah sound. Let's move to the opposite page. Read and look at the pictures. Read and look at the pictures. Uncle Jim, Pete and Tom found the lost city in the desert, you remember? They told Professor Hamid about it. Professor Hamid and his men dug in the sand. What did they find? Yes, try to look in the picture. Exercise number two. Choose an opening for the story. Which sentence is the most interesting? Choose an opening for the story. Which sentence is the most interesting? Here we have some sentences. Choose one to be a topic for the story. An opening for the story. Professor Hamid found a door. Suddenly, Professor Hamid found a strange door. There was a door. Look, said Professor Hamid, here is a very strange door. Ah, choose one to make your own story about Uncle Jim, Pete, and Tom. What did they find? Yes, they found the lost city in the desert. And what did they do after finding the lost city? Yes, they called Professor Hamid from the museum. And Professor Hamid came with his men to do what? To dig in the sand. To dig in the sand. Okay. After having the opening sentence in the story, we found some details after them. Try to put an end. What will they find? Will they find treasure? And try to imagine what will they do after finding the treasure. Will they keep it as a souvenir or will they send it to the museum? Try to put the end. Hmm? Yes, here we have a story. Try to imitate it. Suddenly, Professor Hamid found a strange door. There were pictures of beautiful birds on it. Professor Hamid opened the door carefully. Tom and Pete were very excited. Inside the room, they saw a round table and two chairs. There were lots of tall stone pots. This is my own story. Try to write your own story. Huh? I'd like you to read it again. Suddenly, Professor Hamid found a strange door. There were pictures of beautiful birds on it. Professor Hamid opened the door carefully. Tom and Pete were very excited. Inside the door, they saw a round table and two chairs. There were lots of tall stone pots. Open your workbook on page 115. Exercise number one. Read and match. Write the letter. Read and match. Write the letter. Number one. Number one is already done for you. We are going to read it. An explorer is a person. Hmm? Who... Excellent. Who discovers new countries? Letter D. Number two. A tourist is somebody. Try to choose one. Yes. Uh, who visits 
places on holiday. Letter C. Number three, a dentist is a person. Excellent. Letter A, who looks after your teeth. Number four, you remember a potter? Yes, a potter is someone. Hmm? Who makes things from clay? Who makes things from clay? And the last one, a weaver. You remember the weaver? The we a weaver is a person who... Letter B, who makes cloth. Who makes cloth. Okay, try to complete these sentences. A teacher is a man or a woman who... Very good, who teaches us at school. Number two, a, a doctor is somebody who... Huh? Yes, who looks after our health. A pilot is a person who... Who flies a plane. Number four, five, and six will be your own homework. Let's move to exercise number three. Complete the sentences. A friend is someone who... Yes. Try to complete it. It will be your own homework. A friend, a friend. Tell me many things about your friend. What can a friend do? Let's move to page 116. Phonics, the letter C, and some words sound like s soft C. They are looking for a lost city. When the letter C is followed by E, I, or Y, it sounds like S. It's called the soft C. Now, write C in these words. Okay, exercise number two, write the words. Here we have 10 pictures, try to write the words. Here we have juice, pencil, face, city, ice cream. Hmm. The rest will be your own homework. Exercise number three, complete the sentence. Complete the sentences, use words from exercise number two. Number one, would you like an ice cream? Would you like an ice cream? Number two, the prince and the princess lived in the castle. The prince and the princess lived in the castle. Number three, Freddy rode his, uh, rode his what? Bicycle in the busy city, in the busy city. Number four, you can use a pencil to draw a funny face. You can use a pencil to draw a funny face. Number five. Can I have a drink of juice, please? Can I have a drink of juice, please? Okay, until I see you, I wish you all luck. Goodbye.